Okay, so spring 06, number 14. Uh, so it says the vapor pressure of ethanol, so ethanol, you don't need to know what it is, is uh, at 34.9 degrees C, the vapor pressure is turned, oh, too many ones, 115 torr. Delta H of vaporization is 40.5 uh, kilojoules per mole. Find the boiling point, so I want the boiling point, that's a temperature. By the way, what's the pressure at the boiling point? 1, uh, one atmosphere, let's just do tor since this is in tor. 760. Now hopefully at this point you're starting to get a bigger clue of what to do. We have a delta H of vaporization. Uh, we have a pressure temperature point and another point where one's unknown. It has to be Clausius clapper. Does that make sense? So the big hint is just having two of these and the delta H, there's nothing else it could be mixing those things together. Uh, the other thing is Anytime it says boiling point, they're unconsciously telling you the pressure. So you always want to assume they're saying the pressure when you see the word boiling point. So let's just set it up so we see how to set up this cautious platform equation. Uh, natural log of P2 over P1. So we'll do the formula first. Delta H over R, 1 over T1 minus 1 over T2. Okay, now let's uh, plug in everything. We'll just call this, which one do you want to call one? The top or the bottom? It really doesn't matter. Top. Top we'll call one. Bottom we'll call two. So you'll see it won't affect your calculations at all. Natural law, P2, uh, that's going to be 760 over P1. So just make sure these are in the same units, but it doesn't matter what units they're in. As long as they're the same. Equals delta H. 40.5. Uh, What's going to be the problem with that? It's in kilojoules. Kilojoules. You always want to think that when you got delta H, so just multiply by 1,000. 40,500 joules per mole. Uh, your R is in joules. 1 over T1. T1 is 1 over. 34.9 plus 273 minus 1 over T2. That's what I'm looking for. T of the boiling point. Solve for that. So just make sure you can do that. Uh, the answer should be uh, 77 Celsius. So after you get the Kelvin answer to convert to Celsius. Sound okay?